Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. We're playing as Communist China. We've got ourselves into war with Afghanistan. We have a number of enemies around who we have to worry about, particularly uh, the fact we're kind of on good terms with Soviet Union and Empire of Japan is uh, at war with them. We've also got China nearby, who's a bit iffy, and I believe the Allies um, are starting to mobilize. Uh, in fact, yes, uh, they are fighting Germany and British Raj is on my border, so we've got to be a bit cautious about anything that happens to roll them in. So, I think what we'll probably do is we need to finish the Afghanistan more quick. And I, I think I shouldn't have called the war. And I know I said at the time I'm going to regret calling this war, but you know what I did? I called the war. And that was a mistake. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, ah! Halt! Halt what you're currently doing! Which button is that? H? Yes. Alright, go back over here. And we're going to invade with the aid of the Soviet Union. Uh, so if we go to our war. Chinese Afghanistan war. Call all. Right. She does probably put someone on the border with the British Raj and with Japan. Ugh. Are we still training more people? Yes. Okay. Production is good. We don't have artillery yet. Plenty of guns. Okay. I think what we'll do. So we'll just focus on the artillery a little bit more. We're still trying to get that up to speed, though. Like, that is still trickling up to its actual production value that we're hoping for. Come on, Soviet Union. Call to arms, please. Why won't you accept? <sighs> they won't join. Why won't you join? Ass. Right. Ninety-two. Still not going to get there. They'll send in reinforcements before I can actually push them out. That's the issue. Come on! Oh! Oh, they they did join. They did join. They joined. Oh, that's that's great. Right. Uh, understand divisions. Um. Join the training. And I guess you... will need to be dumped into here. And, um... Where are you stationed right now? I'm gonna give you a new order. British Raj. And then take... Half of you place you there. You also need to train as well, just to be able to get you back up to full strength, because you've just fallen under. Alright, that should do the distraction. Come on, keep pushing. It's going to be costly, but keep pushing. Yeah, they're sending reinforcements, but we can come in behind them now. Yeah, keep sending your reinforcements over there. That's fine. We've got this. Need to end this war fast. I'm a bit worried that the world is going kind of everywhere. And Afghanistan might join someone. Call to arms request. I'm going to ignore that. But Afghanistan might join like the allies or someone. Oh, they sent reinforcements. Oh, nope. Come on, keep punching in there. 95 over there. Uh, decision available. 
We're still infiltrating. We'll do another infiltrate soon. Launch communist uprising. No, I don't do yet. yet. Okay, keep going. I would like to select half of the people here and attack there. Because that's three on one, and then we can trap this unit. Go around. Okay, they beat the attack off again. Which is fine, because they're like holding a lot of troops in there. Provided they're holding the troops there, they're not fighting me over here. But we need to kick them out of this area, and we need to do it fast. So I'm actually going to give them a offensive line. And the idea is going to be just to get to Kabul. And balanced mana, yeah. Balanced mana. Yeah, they're all balanced. Ninety-six. This is a bit slow, but we'll, we'll get in there. We'll win. Ninety-nine. Right, we're in. Okay, they're attacking us. We can't do anything about that. Okay, uh, you go this way. Half you go this way. Um, I don't know who's going which way, so... Who is... Who is just walking? Uh... Are you? Yes, go here instead. Are you? No. They've all got the attack symbol, so I don't know. Nope. 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 Yes! Yes, right, go here as well. Right, 99. Move in. Oh, on a sun divisions. Join in there to get trained. You're still training. Oh, you're still en route. That's fine. 99 still. Come on. You got this. Really? You're attacking me back? God damn it. Okay, I want at least one person to come over here. And then attack there. And I also need someone to attack you. I'm still holding them in place, which is fine. You know, I expected a bit more, but that's fine. Okay. And we'll get another route to attack about a uh, Kabul Throm soon. Um, hold them in place. Be attacked, okay. And they're surrounded now, which is what I was intending. Just gotta hold. Chinese general staff. Huzzah! Right. We want a war gaming division because we want that land doctrine buff. Keep them surrounded as long as possible. Try and hit Kabul. And hi. Attack there. Attack there to slow you down. And then you can attack. Oh, wrong one. Ah, they moved in. Damn it. That's what I get for misclicking. Right, we're going to surround them. Right, 
I want you to all just crush that as soon as possible. Intervention in Scandinavia. It happens. And I will put a front line here for two people. We only managed to trap three of them by the look of it. It'll do. It'll do. Meanwhile... Keep going for Kabul. And... There we go, they're wiped out. Um, we'll wipe them out. Well, they have been wiped out. Okay. Not doing too badly. Decisions. Infiltrate. Hi, bay. Okay. I just deployed people? I heard the deploy thing. Available planes? Maybe it's planes. I don't know. Everyone. Push to Kabul. Once you're done, I'll give you a new order. But we'll get that uh, airfield. Yoink. Okay, that means you get a front line. And I want you to do a spearhead straight into Kabul. And I would also like my mountaineers to do the same thing. But first we'll just go around, because I can. Oh, also, I guess I could put planes in here? Into all fighters and bombers, but eh. Why not? We've got them. And I'd like you to support the attack in just this region? Sure. Uh, I would like close air support, air superiority. Yeah, that's, that's what I want. Let's go to speed five. And let's take Kabul. We need to take Kabul quick. Chase them down. Don't let them. Don't let them rest. Keep going after them. We got Kabul. Soviet Union declared war on Poland. That's what I was worried about. We need to win the Afghan war before the Allies come in to help out. 100% towards capitulation, so they should capitulate. Damn. There we go. Can I have that? No. I'm going to have to pass. I didn't quite manage to get to Iran. I think it was the right choice anyway. It means we won't be getting into a fight anytime super soon, but it does mean we've locked out our way to Iran. I think it's the right choice. Right, Soviet Manchu War, Mongolian Manchu War, German Polish War, German Luxembourg. Uh, Poland's been declared on by the Soviet Union as well. Which probably means the Allies are going to choose to attack Soviet Union. So I'm tempted to leave the faction. Yeah, I'm going to leave the faction. 
I think it's too valuable not being at war right now. And we've got three military factories. Okay, uh, can I build anything else? Support equipment, yes. We want to start doing that slowly. Slowly. But we'll get support equipment. Insufficient resources. More steel. You're still training, you're still getting there. And I have more tea. Nom, 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 nom. Sorry, had to be cut there. <sighs> right. I think we're just going to hunker down and prep. And we might go to war against the Empire of Japan if we can pull it off. So far, I think they're kind of by themselves. They're alone. They don't really have any friends. So a war against them would be beneficial. The issue is it'll be a long drawn out war because we can't go and attack their mainland. We have no way of doing that. And they have a strong navy. So we'd have to build up a navy. And that'll take a long time. Uh, we also need a, you know, a way to get in behind the lines properly. We already have that to a kind of limited extent. But they have put forces on the border of us. So that's not going to be an easy one. We've exiled divisions. Invite faction. Yeah. I think we'll probably get front line there, front line there. Actually, you can be on the front line. It's only a small front line. Thinking about it, we probably actually want to spend this time setting up field marshals to lead everybody. So we will want someone guarding this. I think this is a perfect point to have someone who's not with a field marshal. Enough to worry about that. You should be there. Ah, uh, you're still training. You're still vaguely training. Okay. I don't need to worry about stuff there. Here and here, we do need to worry about a frontier. I'm probably just going to put one unit there. And that unit can be you, who's still not full and still training. And you are technically already there, so that's fine. You're my training people, so you can go to the end. And then over here, we're going to worry about the frontier with Empire of Japan and the frontier of China. I think there's two units on each. So, if I select you, and we go for a front line here, and then a front line here. That has, yeah, it's correctly done it. Great. Now, how's that construction going? Improved artillery upgrade, that's nice. We will want to improve the infrastructure there. Empire of Japan joined the Allies. Uh, well, that's interesting. Well, I was debating about going to war with Japan. I think that makes my decision. Um, guys, we're not going to war with Empire of Japan. Uh, that was, that was simple. Uh, what do we want in the way of factories? There's six out of, there's eight out of six here, so we're actually over the limit. Uh, we will probably go for military factories all across here now. Yeah, because if we went to war with them, we'd be at war with the Raj. Which, may I point out? Wouldn't it be terrible if we could take the Raj, but we'd have to take it quickly and we'd have the forces for that. Research slot available. 
improved artillery upgrade too. I think we've got to do the dispersed industry though. More slots. I would like some slots. I was still working that 32 days until it's available. I think China's going to be the one. A war of China would be great. The thing is, if they... No, they're the Chinese United Front. They can't join another faction. This would allow us to go for one faction and one faction only. Now, they have about 140 units. We have about 140 units. You see what I'm saying? What do they have in their groups? A lot of artillery. They've got engineers as well. Okay, so they've got better quality troops. We need to find a way to ruin that. Now, we have got infiltrations. We can destroy a lot of the infrastructure. But we need to be able to kill them off. And we need to be able to kill them off, you know, quick. Once we've killed them, sure, we can do other stuff. But we need to focus on China right now. I don't think Japan will attack us. I don't think the British Raj will attack us. So I can actually redeploy all of our forces. There we go. I'm actually going to move you in here. Oh, not you, actually. Sorry, wrong one. I wanted you to be moved in here. And then put you on the front line as well. One, two, three, four. Are you on the front line? Actually, no, I might need to delete your current order and then do that. Yes, right. And you're training right now. Anyone else need to train? Uh, you could do some training. You could do a little training. You could do some training. You could do some training. I think everyone's dropped down a little bit when we uh, replace some of the units. So if they will train. We'll get ready for our war with China. Now, of course, we don't have any air support as well. That's going to be a tough one for us to swallow. Failed attempt on Hitler's life. Expand those air wings. Yeah, I know I've got available planes in reserve. What would our first aim be in this war? Kingdom of Romania capitulated. Uh, our first aim would be, I think, to cut this, so simplify our border. But we'd also want to do that. That way we can get to Nanjing. We can also hit up Beijing as well. Computing machine. Improved computing machine. Now a research time buff. Sure. The War of China is coming, but we've got to make sure this is, you know, bang on. How's that war over there with Poland? Uh, surely you're fighting the Allies now. Yeah, you are. I'm glad we got out before we uh, we got trapped in a war of the Allies, because we'd then be attacked by British Raj and Emperor Japan. In fact, it doesn't look good for the Soviet Union right now. Luckily, they've got technically the Axis kind of on the side. Actually, no, they're fighting the Axis as well. Oh. Really? You're just fighting everyone? Uh, right. This next one, we're currently working on a decision that'll make it quicker. Which is recovery rate. Don't care about guerrilla tactics. Out of supplies, nice. How long do we have that? Oh, really close. Yeah, we'll wait that out. Okay. Meantime, things are going fine. Could be better, but things are going fine. Right, you are done with the training. You are done with the training. You are done with the training. 
And we will send you two to the 21. There we go. Buff you a little bit. Oh, you also need a commander. I think we need a new commander. Actually, we could put Falkenstein on them. Falkenstein's currently over the other side, so that makes sense. War Game Division's nearly done. There we go. Yeah, China's moved some more troops back over. It doesn't look good. Uh, we'll grab the Land Doctrine then. It only takes 95 days. Now, National Focus. Um, I need Motorized for that. Higher Soviet Designer. I don't get to do this because I went down the closet test of Germany. On China policy. Next war goal, integrate to bet. I've already got most of that anyway. Mm. Can't do that. Mission to the US or collaborate with Japan? Mission to the US would get us submarines and stuff. That's again that's navy. Uh Could go prefer war with China. Confront the warlords. Communist China demands our cooperation. Hey, we could try that. Oh, this I suggest an alliance. No. I'm not suggesting an alliance. Yeah, I'm not going to suggest an alliance. I don't think we can go any further down that tree. Since we don't want to do that, I kind of think we're limited in options now. The air power would be great. I could get mission to the US to do that. Okay, missions US, what do I need? 75 opinion. Right. Hi, hi US. I would like to improve relations with you. Hi. Was there anything I could actually do right now? Um... I can do this, which is create faction mutual assistance block. Sure. While we ask, you know, United States to love us. Love me, United States Senpai. Yeah. It'll be tough to push through this at the moment. How many guns have we got? We're still lacking in artillery. Not enough equipment. Oh, you need uh, you need guns. Uh, I'll deploy them anyway. And I'll dump them into there to get trained up. Uh, even if they don't have the artillery that we need. What do they look like for the moment? Um... Combat width of 11.2. The idea would be we'd eventually move to something along the lines of... That. Ah, that's too much. Um, that would work. So we'll just drop this gun for now. We've got the people... So we'll do that. This will mean that we need to retrain everyone. 
but they'll be ready. And we probably have enough guns for that. Nope, minus 15,000. I guess we need to make more guns. It's a good thing we're not going to war at the moment. The fall of Warsaw. There we go. Poland capitulated. Yeah, they need to train up. Czechoslovakia capitulated. There's a bit of a mess over there. I mean, I would say the Allies are doing poorly, except for the fact that the Empire of Japan is actually in a pretty decent state right now. Admittedly, they're capturing territory that doesn't matter. That's completely unindustrialized. There's nothing there. A few resources, I guess. If they get to about there, that's when the resources start to be a major issue. Um... Yeah, we're getting okay on the guns. and getting okay on the artillery. Right, engineer company. What will we want to do after engineering company? Um, maybe recon? Maybe it's time to crack out the motorized. I think for now we'll go with the production line. So we can actually produce more stuff. That's going to be way too useful. But we will also pop over here to our infantry and get an engineering company. Yeah, now we need more support equipment. How much? The RT is getting to that stage where I think it's okay, so I'm actually going to flip a few people over like that. Right, what do we need? Ah, we need aluminium just. Soviet Union, I would like one aluminium. Lin Bao falls ill, there's nothing we can do about that because we're using all of our generals. I'm not training any divisions, but I can't really. Don't the equipment. Don't have any equipment, I think. Yeah, all, all the things I need, I'm negative for. We'll get there, but it will be a slow and laborious process. How's that training coming along? Yeah, some people are getting trained up. Might as well train you up as well. Training is also going to cost us equipment, so this is going to be a very long process. All right, Marxism with Chinese characteristics. Uh, hello, United States. You do love me. Excellent. I mean, we could go proclaim the People's Republic. We get to be known as PRC. We'll do that, but that'll be a little bit down the road because we want to do missions to the US right now. We need the things they can offer. Oh, damn. Soviet Union is going for the British Raj. Interesting. Hell, I could start fighting the Soviet Union if I needed to. I mean, it's not my ideal situation. But we're in a good position to take advantage of anything they grab. I'm talking down the line here, after China. Should you just give me that bit of Afghanistan? Then you wouldn't need to worry about this as a border. But, you know... They got greedy. Guerrilla warfare. We've got modified government. Ooh, which means that we can decision available. Can I not infiltrate? Why can I not infiltrate? Oh, I need infantry equipment to infiltrate. Okay, I don't have any infantry, uh, infantry equipment to do that. That's fine. 
Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. we did all of this, so this is a non-issue. I think it's time to start thinking about uh, aircraft. So let me just check this tree. Aircraft purchase. We get 50 old fighters. We get a Camco design company available, which speeds up research. For heavy fighters... No, air research time minus 10%. Heavy fighter reliability goes up. Tactical bomb reliability goes up. And they're a medium aircraft. Yeah. Then we get a research ahead of time penalty for the J3. Then we get a new design company as well. Camco Fighter Division. Yeah, we'll start down here. Um, not down there, sorry. We'll start... Where's my research? Right. Fighters, 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 fighters. The J3. Ooh. Okay, that's really far away. And we can get an ahead of time decrease of 100%. So going towards that is a good idea. I think we will do that. I think that offers just a bit too good pass up. We'll try and get that some stage, but we'll start off. Wait one second. Oh, I never knew this button existed. That's so cool. Okay, I'm good. Thank you. Although, let's try it. Wait, you're a biplane. That's not a biplane. Hmm. Modify government. Hmm. Military factory construction be 10%. Yeah. Military high command. Division recovery rate's nice. Industrial research time. Electronics research time. I mean, these are pretty decent. I think, however, we'll go war industrialist because that 10% cut in military feet, uh, factory construction is going to be important. All right, we'll just watch this tick down. How long will it take? 150 days. Ooh. Right, Soviet Union. Can I request a lend lease? Ah, we've got to be at war. Okay. Right. Yeah, the Soviet Union is not doing too well. They've got a whole lump of stuff chucked there behind British lines, which is just going to get murdered. It's getting murdered right now. Um, no addition to basic training. That's fine. Everything else up here is okay. Uh, I'm going to improve relations again. Because we've got to keep them nice and high to be able to do our current mission. I'm going to try and stay out of the war until 42, I think, is the idea. 42 will kill China if we can. But yeah, we've got to bear in mind that while we're doing this, China's also getting stronger. It's not a stationary goal. It's a moving one. And they're, Yeah, they're definitely getting stronger. Maybe I modernize the army too quickly. Denmark joined the Allies. Germany declared war on Denmark. I may have modernized too early. Maybe I shouldn't have added all that equipment. Norway joined the Allies. Germany declared war on Norway. I could still launch my communist uprising. Uh, I'm good. Mission to the US complete. Excellent. Higher Chenault. Uh, which grants air doctrine research time, air... 
No, not as important to me. Invite the flying tiger. Volunteer group pilots and brought a number of modern planes to support us. That's cool. Sino American Cooperative Organization. That's not bad. I think we'll go fighter purchase to begin with, just to try and get that that I care about, but it's tempting. We're still to keep their opinion above 75, though. Can I, like, license anything from you? No? Worth a try. Uh, Soviet Union. Could I license interwar bomber, interwar bomber, interwar bomber, strategic bomber? Do you not have anything new? Interwar fi fighter one. Oh, that's a bit lame. A lot of crappy light tanks. Yeah, there's, there's nothing here. Claim on Best of Arabia. Go for it. Why not? It's not like you're suffering already. Uh, how else are we doing? It's constantly just checking the logistics, really. We'll get in there. We can stop the training now. Which is costing us materials. Right, you're still training. We've got dispersed industry. Excellent. I guess you can join. It doesn't matter who you join, really. Um, put you into a separate group so you're not training at least. Right. I would like to get construction. I think what we'll do is we'll grab now a couple of civilian factories. We'll also want to get an airport close in. So we'll get, you know, a couple of airport stuff there, a couple of airport stuff here. And I think that's kind of it. Yeah, we're good. Our capital might need, like, some sort of reinforcement around it. So, you know, ten bunkers is a little bit. That, that helps. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Might as well just give you an order. Hang out on that border just in case. Zero attrition, good. You're training up. Okay. We'll leave it a day, then we'll check what our new uh, rate of increased supplies is, because we were using supplies for training. Now we're not, we might be getting our supplies a bit quicker. I'll last for two years. Only 90 days on the infantry equipment. And only nine days in the artillery. Damn. Well, that helps. We're going to need to kick the support equipment into high gear. Okay. Once we get enough artillery, we will actually add an artillery unit to all of our infantry as well. Right, we got fighter purchase. We also finished researching fighters. Uh, we want to go camco to local fighter production. 
What's the hump? We get one military factory. Yeah. I think we'll want to get Camco. Oh, invest in shipbuilding. Oh, we've got no coastal, so we can't do that. You know, we'll do the. We'll turn into the PRC. Proclaim the People's Republic. Because then we can do socialist market economy at the bottom there. Right. I'd like to do the J1. Straight down that fighter line. We're getting to that stage now. Improved computing machine where we're going to be going to war with China. It's not that far off. We just need to make sure we're just a little bit better positioned. Uh, practically not ahead of time at all. So yeah, we'll start on the advanced computing machine. Anything to help us uh, be able to research into equivalent with everyone else. It's a bit of a mess right now. The world is very much a mess. You've got the Empire of Japan taking a chunk out of the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union at war with... Are you at war with... I thought you were at war with... You're not at war with Germany. I thought you were at war with Germany. Huh. You're not. Okay. Actually, the current war is the German-Luxembourg War. Just one war. So yeah, Comintern is technically on the German side. Technically. Mongolia is almost defeated. Yugoslavia is almost defeated. Um, beyond the initial attacks... A little bit of fighting in British Raj. Nothing's really happened. Even Denmark is holding out. So that's an interesting turnaround. I think the Allies are probably going to have a good time with the Soviet Union. Mainly just through the Empire of Japan and then eventually a pushback up here. Which does seem to be starting. My concern is that make the Allies very strong around us. We'd either want to jump in on the killing of the Soviet Union or launch like, a counteroffensive. But a counteroffensive would mean we'd have to fight there and there. We need to kill China before we can even consider that. So I think China's going to be our target. It might even happen next episode. But before that can properly take place, we're going to call it. Thank you very much for watching. If you like, like, and not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And until next time, stay shiny.